Google just dropped something huge and it's completely free. I'm talking about Jules, their AI coding agent that writes code while you sleep. They just pushed a massive update and it's about to change everything for people who build software. This thing can now fix bugs, write tests, and build entire features without you touching a keyboard. The best part, you don't need to be some coding wizard to use it. Google moved Jules out of beta, they added a command line tool, they gave us an API, and they made the free version way more powerful than before. If you're building anything online, this is gonna save you hundreds of hours, maybe even thousands. So stick around because I'm gonna show you exactly what changed, why it matters, and how you can start using it today. All right, let me break down what Jules actually is, because if you haven't heard of it, you need to pay attention. Jules is not a chatbot. It's not like those AI assistants where you ask a question and get an answer. This thing actually does the work for you. It clones your entire code repository into a secure Google Cloud server. Then it looks at your code, it figures out what needs to be done, and it makes the changes automatically. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Here's how it works. You give Jules a task, something like fix this bug or add this feature or update these dependencies, then Jules goes to work. It reads through your code, it makes a plan, it writes the actual code changes. Then it shows you everything it did. You can see the full diff. You can review every single change. And if you like it, Jules creates a pull request on GitHub for you. You just merge it and you're done. The crazy part is this all happens in the background. You don't sit there waiting. You give it the task and go do something else. Maybe work on another project, maybe take a break. And when you come back, Jules has everything ready for you. It supports all the major programming languages too. Node.js, Python, Rust. Whatever you're using, Jules can handle it. Now, let me tell you about the new update because this is where things get really interesting. Google officially moved Jules out of beta around August. Before that, it was kind of experimental, but now it's a full product. And they added a bunch of new features that make it way more useful. First, they added a free tier. You get 15 tasks per day. You can run three tasks at the same time. That might not sound like a lot, but for most people, that's plenty, especially if you're working on side projects or small businesses. And if you need more, they have pro and ultra plans with higher limits, but the free version is solid. Second, they built a command line tool. This is huge. You can now trigger Jules right from your terminal. No need to open a browser or mess with a web interface. Just type a command and Jules starts working. They also released an API. So if you're building your own uh, tools or workflows, you can plug Jules right in. This opens up so many possibilities. Third, they improved the user interface. You can now pause a task while it's running. You can resume it later. You can delete tasks if they're not going the way you want. The whole experience is smoother and easier to control. Fourth, they added GitHub integration. This one is simple but powerful. You can add a label to any GitHub issue. Just tag it with Jules and boom, Jules picks it up and starts working on it automatically. No extra steps. This makes it super easy to manage your workflow. Fifth, they upgraded all the base environments, newer versions of Node, newer versions of Python, better runtime isolation. Everything runs faster and more reliably now. Jules used to get stuck sometimes on complex tasks. That happens way less now. It's smarter about reading your project files and understanding context. And here's something interesting. So what's Jules actually good at? Let me give you the real breakdown. Jules is amazing for repetitive tasks. Things like bumping dependency versions, writing tests, fixing small bugs, doing multi-file changes that are tedious but not complicated. If you have a task that takes an hour but doesn't require deep thinking, Jules can probably do it in minutes. It's also great for offloading work. Let's say you have five bugs to fix. You can set Jules on three of them while you work on the other two. By the time you're done with yours, Jules has finished its share. You just merged everything and move on. That's huge for productivity. And the GitHub integration makes it perfect for teams. Someone opens an issue, they tag it with Jules, Jules handles it, creates a pull request. Someone on the team reviews and merges it. The whole workflow is clean and automated, but Jules is not perfect. Let me be real with you. It struggles with big architectural changes. If you're redesigning your entire app or making major structural decisions, Jules isn't gonna nail it. You need human judgment for that stuff. It's best for smaller, more contained tasks. The free tier limits can be tight if you're using it heavily. 15 tasks a day sounds like a lot until you're actually working. If you're a solo developer grinding hard, you might hit that limit. Then you either wait or pay for the pro version. 
and you absolutely need to review everything Jules does. This is not set it and forget it. Jules can make mistakes. It might misunderstand your instructions. It might write code that technically works but isn't the best approach. Always check the diffs before you merge. Always test the changes. Human oversight is critical. Some people in the community have also mentioned that Jules can be moody on really complex tasks. It might fail or produce weird results if the task is too vague or too big. The trick is to keep your tasks small and specific. Give Jules clear instructions. Don't ask it to do 10 things at once. Now let's talk about security because I know some of you are thinking, wait, I'm giving Google access to my code. Here's the deal. Jules does not train on your private code. Google has said this publicly, your code is private by default. Everything runs in isolated cloud environments. It's not sitting on your local machine. It's sandboxed in a secure VM. So your code is safe. If you're working on something super sensitive or proprietary, you can still use Jules. Just be smart about it. Review what it's doing. Make sure you're comfortable with the setup. But for most people, the privacy protections are solid. If you want to scale your business and save hundreds of hours with AI automation, you need to check out my AI profit boardroom. This is where I share the exact systems I use to run my seven figure agency. We're talking AI tools, workflows and strategies that actually work, not theory, real stuff that makes money. The link is in the description. Join us. Pro tip, start small. Give Jules easy tasks first. See how it handles them, get comfortable with the workflow, then gradually give it more complex work. This way you build trust in the system and learn what it can and can't do. Another tip, Use the GitHub label integration, set up your workflow so team members can just tag issues with Jules and it happens automatically. This keeps everything organized and saves time. So what's next for Jules? Where is this going? I think we're going to see even more automation. The critic feature, if it's real, is just the beginning. Imagine Jules not only writing code, but also testing it, deploying it and monitoring it in production. That's the direction we're heading. I also think we'll see more integration with other tools. Maybe Jules connects with your project management software. Maybe it hooks into your CI CD pipeline. The API they just released makes all of this possible and competition is heating up. GitHub has Copilot. There are other AI coding agents popping up, but Jules has Google behind it. That means resources, infrastructure, and serious engineering talent. I think Jules is gonna be a major player in this space for a long time. The big question is how this changes developer workflows. Right now, developers spend a lot of time on boring stuff, bug fixes, version updates, writing tests. Jules can handle all of that, which means developers can focus on the interesting problems, the creative stuff, the architecture, the strategy. That's a huge shift. For entrepreneurs and business owners, this is massive too. You can build faster, you can ship features quicker, you can fix issues without waiting for your developer to get around to it. That's competitive advantage right there. If you want to learn more about making money with AI, you need to join my free AI money lab. Inside, you get over 50 free AI tools, over 200 chat GPT SEO prompts, step-by-step -step guides on how to use AI agents to make money. We also have over a thousand free workflows, a full blueprint to generate thousands of leads for free with AI, plus a community of people doing the same thing. The link is in the description. It's completely free. Go check it out. Thanks for watching. Try out Jules, see what it can do for you, and let me know in the comments what tasks you automate with it. I read every single comment. See you in the next one.